Us women from YouTube Mommy Meetup are bringing you delicious recipes for your crock pot. Every day for the entire month of October, one, sometimes two recipes will be shared in a series called Crocktober. The link is listed in the description box down below. Please go check out the other videos. I'm sure that you'll find something that you're going to love. I have submitted beef stew. Before I start, I just wanted to apologize. I lost the footage of all the ingredients and then the video clip of when I was chopping up the carrots. I have no idea what happened, but when I uploaded my footage, it was gone. But that's okay, I'm going to walk you through all the steps and the ingredients will all be in the description box down below. First, I get out all my ingredients and set everything on the table. And next, I begin to chop the carrots. And then I go on to dice the celery. Next, you'll need onion. Chop it up however you want to. And then you'll go ahead and you'll rinse your meat thoroughly. I use two pounds of stew meat. Again, all the ingredients will be in the description box down below. Here, my husband is helping me to chop the garlic. And then you're going to add that together with the celery, carrots, and onions. Now I go on to chop the potatoes. You'll need five to six small potatoes or two to three large. I used to peel the potatoes, but now I just leave the skins on. My family never complains and it just makes it that much easier. Now let's begin with the beef stew. First, you add your two pounds of stew meat. And now you're going to add all of your seasonings. Next, I throw in the potatoes. and then all those good vegetables. You can honestly use half the amount of carrot, celery, onion, and potatoes, and the beef stew will still be delicious. Next, I'm adding the wine, and the wine is optional. We were in the mood for something a little extra sweet this time around. If you're looking for the traditional beef stew, just go ahead and leave that red wine out. If you're looking for something new and different, go ahead and add the red wine. Next is your Worcestershire sauce and then your beef broth. My kids enjoy when there's lots of broth so I just went ahead and added 32 ounces this time around. If you like your beef stew to be extra thick, go ahead and use about two and a half cups of broth instead. You can always add in extra broth towards the end if you want to thin it out a little bit. Now you want to set your crock pot. I usually do six hours on high or 10 hours on low. It's been four hours, so now I'm going to go ahead and peek at it. As you can see, it still needs a few more hours, so I'm just stirring it a little bit. And then I'm scooping out a few spoons of the broth and I'm going to add cornstarch to thicken it up. Since I have so much broth, I ended up using two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. If you don't have cornstarch, you can use almond meal as a thickener. You can use basically any type of flour, bread flour, lupin flour. Here's when I tasted the broth and I decided to add a little bit of tomato puree. Again, optional, sometimes I add it, sometimes I don't, but this time around I used 3 fourths cup of tomato puree. And now I ended up leaving it cook for an additional hour. And now it's done and I'm going to serve everyone a nice bowl for dinner. As you can see, it's nice and rich and my family loved it. The thing that I love about beef stew is that you can make it differently every single time, but it always turns out amazing.
Again, please check out the playlist. And I thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.